Hello, my name is Anthony. I'll be presenting the Figma integration for TransFX. Uh, the first step I will, I will demonstrate is how to install and configure the integration. To install and configure uh, the integration, go to uh, Plugins, uh, Manage Plugins, go to Community, in there, search for TransFX, and install the plugin once you found it. Now we're going to go configure the plugin. To configure the plugin, just open up any uh, project that you have. Go back to the plugins menu, select Transfix Figma plugin. Then click on the settings tab. The first thing you're going to do is to generate a, a is is to install or type in an API token. The API token is created in TransFX. So to create the API token, click on the create API token link. Generate a token. Now when TransFX generates an API token, it only lets you copy it once for security reasons. So when you copy it and you close this window, make sure you paste the token somewhere it's safe so they can reuse it later. So now we go back here. We paste the API token and we use this token to connect to TransFX. Once you click the connect button and we, we verify that our API token is correct, we select the organization that we have access to, the project that we want to, um, we want to assign our resources to. And here, if we don't have a resource to, cop to uh, copy strings to, we create a new resource. So I will create a new resource called Figma test. Click on the Create button, then we save our configuration, and when we go into TransFX, we will see that our resource has been created. Now I'm going to show you how to push strings into TransFX so that they can be translated. In order to do that, I, I just have to select the text in the frame that I want to translate. As you can see, it appears here. Make sure that I have the checkbox for upload screenshot selected, push the um, translations, uh, the source strings into TransFX. And when I'm done, I click on the view resource and TransFX link. I select my language that I want to translate into and I start translating. One thing you will notice is this little icon beside each string. This, this icon indicates that there's a screenshot attached to the uh, string. So for the word email address, I can click on this screenshot and see how the word email address appears on my screen for context. I can also, if I want, I can scroll through each string one at a time and translate it via this, this method. Or what I'm going to do is I'm just going to machine translate all the strings at once. And now, um, now I have demonstrated how to um, push strings into TransFX and how to translate them. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to pull translations from TransFX into, back into Figma. So to do that, click on the Pull Translation and TransFX tab. Select the language that you want to pull. Um, pull the translations in and you'll see the translations here under Pages, where it says FR Page 1. And this is how you pull translations back into Figma from TransFX. Just to show you another option when you're pushing strings to TransFX, you can also select the checkbox to replace resource strings. What this does is it erases any source strings that are already in the resource and replaces them with what you have here. I want to thank you for joining us and I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Figma integration into TransFX. Thank you.